Thank you, Garrett. Another story we've been following. Uh, new details in the arrest warrant obtained by the KSAT 12 defenders revealing disturbing new details in the case of a missing Bear County woman now feared dead. The documents detail evidence found inside the home of 29 year old Andrea McDonald leading to today's arrest of her husband, U.S. Air Force Major Andre McDonald for tampering with evidence. According to the documents, investigators found blood and hair on a light switch, blood on the floor of a bathroom and a burn pile in the backyard containing a zipper. Now, investigators uh, say a witness also told them Andrine said that she told one of her friends many times if she was ever reported missing, it would be because her husband killed her. Tonight, the couple's six-year-old daughter is without both of her parents, and investigators believe she may also be a witness in this case. The night team's Jaffney Gray has the latest on the investigation. It's kind of uh, a little wet out here, very cold. Uh, but, you know, as I mentioned, this is important to us and, and uh, we're looking toward this as a recovery effort. A recovery effort that started out as a missing persons case for successful business owner, 29 year old Andreen McDonald. Today, her husband, Air Force Major Andre Mr. McDonald, Andre, was arrested for tampering with evidence. My -in -law, I love my daughter, love my family. Originally, Andre was taken into custody for a possible mental health issue after deputies spotted him purchasing a gun and ammo Saturday. Sheriff Javier Salazar says he doesn't believe that is the case anymore. He's a highly intelligent person and I know I think he knows exactly what he's doing. Deputies later found a shovel, axe, heavy duty trash bags, two five gallon containers filled with gas, gloves and a portable burn pit in the McDonald's home. According to the arrest warrant, quote, the shovel had fresh dirt on it and appeared to have been recently used, end quote. All of which are items Salazar said could be used to dispose of a body, which is why they do not believe Andreen is alive. Their six year old daughter now without both of her parents. This little girl is, is autistic, mostly nonverbal. Um, and to us, and I can't go too much into it, but to us, it's pretty evident that she saw something. She saw what happened to her mom. And that's that's the most heartbreaking part of this case. Andreen's loved ones, including the friends who initiated the investigation after noticing her disappearance, you will not let held your a foot prayer visit for her today. I hope you all got to see the part of Andreen that was so beautiful and so lovely and such a gift to this world. I know. I think he knows exactly what he's doing, and I think that, that quite frankly, he, he probably thinks he's smarter than anybody in law enforcement, but uh, he's behind bars right now. What steps are there? Sheriff Salazar said Andre McDonald is being held at the Bear County Jail for tampering with evidence because they discovered he attempted to destroy a receipt that reflected the purchase of the items they believe were going to be used to dispose of Andreen's body. Right now, his bond hasn't been set yet, but if he is able to post bail, he will be on house arrest with GPS monitoring. Back to you guys.